you can move to the start or end of words using these motion commands there are two types of words the first type consists of a sequence of letters digits and underscores or sequence of non blank characters separated with white space you can change this using is keyword setting empty line is also considered as a word so w moves to the start of the next word so if the cursor is here and if you press w it moves to the start of the next word and these commands can move across lines as well so if i press w again it should move to the next line if you noticed here this was considered as a single word and this sequence of non blank characters was also considered to be a single word i'll show again so press w it moves to the start of the next word empty line also considered as a word so if the cursor is here pressing w should move to the start of the next word which is the dot t e here after this it should move to the empty line b moves to the beginning of the current word or previous word it depends on where the cursor is if it is in the middle of a word and if you press b it moves to the beginning of that current word if it is already at the start it should move to the beginning of the previous word e moves to the end of the current word or end of the next word so cursor is in the middle of a word if you press e it should move to the end of the current word and pressing e again it should move to the end of the next word ge moves to the end of the previous word so cursor is here and if i press ge it should move to the end of the previous word so which is at this location so ge you can provide a count prefix so let's say cursor is here and you want to move to the start of the third word so you can press 3 w so this is about word which is usually denoted in lower case when word is denoted in upper case this is consisting of sequence of just non blank characters separated with white space again empty line is also considered as a word so you can see these are just upper case version of the commands seen earlier for example if you take this this entire sequence is considered as a single word but in lower case terms it will be multiple words so w moves to the start of the next word so let's say cursor is here and i press upper case w it moves to the start of the next word since this entire thing is considered as single word since the cursor is here it should move to the beginning of next word which is i so upper case w so you can see cursor moved here now if i used lower case w it should move word by word so you can see it takes multiple presses rest are all similar capital b moves to the beginning of the current word or previous word so capital b it moves to the beginning of this entire sequence and then moves backward upper case e moves to the end of the current word or should be next word
So uppercase E moves to the end of the current word or next word. G E moves in the backward direction. So G uppercase E moves to the end of the previous word. Similar to word definitions, Vim defines several objects like sentence, paragraph, and so on. So braces are used to move paragraph wise and parentheses are used to move sentence wise. I'll show example. So this entire thing is a paragraph, but it has multiple sentences. If I use closing parentheses from this location, it should move to the start of the next sentence. If I use opening parenthesis, it should move to the start of the previous sentence. Empty line is also a sentence. If I use brace, then I can move paragraph wise. So I'm going to press right brace. So it, it should move in the forward direction. If I use left brace or opening brace, it should move in the backward direction. This is also useful in programming because you usually have empty lines separating such structures. So I can use brace to easily move across such structures. There are more such objects. You can use object motions manual for complete list and also full details about what is a sentence, what is a paragraph and so on. So I'll show the manual brace and parenthesis we saw already. Then there are brackets. So there are several such object and you can see the complete definition of what is a sentence, what are all the rules. Similarly for paragraphs, 